सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव लेफ्ट विद द प्रॉब्लम दैट वी हैव सॉल्व दैट इज रिलेटेड टू वाई पैरामीटर्स वी हैव सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम एंड वी हैव अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू रेड्यूस द सर्किट यूजिंग द सम ऑफ द कंडीशन दैट इज बी टू इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वी वन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड स्प्लिट द नेटवर्क इन टू टू पार्ट्स एंड सॉल्व इट सेपरेटली एंड गेट द पैरामीटर्स वाई पैरामीटर्स आई हैव सीन इट दो हैव नॉट सीन दो वीडियोज प्लीज सी दैट वीडियो इट इज अवेलेबल इन अ प्ले लिस्ट Yeah, and then if watch uh, watch this video because if you are new to this video you won't be understanding anything what i'm explaining okay so that's why guys please go step by step don't skip any concept and jump into some random video and see those video because you won't be understanding anything then you will be uh, struggling in uh, writing the exam so that's why please the whole brief playlist step by step all the concepts i've explained along with the which are which are the modules are necessary for this concepts also i have already discussed this module 1 and module 2 module 1 is related to basic concepts and module 2 is related to network theorems those two you should be knowing it thoroughly so that you will be solving these kind of problems okay so please see those videos guys and yeah in the last session i have done one problem i am going to continue with two more problems in this session so this is the first problem here again in the we will be giving you one circuit we should be finding y parameters okay y parameters that is y11 y12 y21 y22 separately okay so this is this problem here so here if you observe carefully in the last session we have solved using the what to say a direct uh, substitution that is uh, by using these formulas right in the last session but here it is not necessary that for all the problems you should be solving in this way only which are solved if you observe the circuit very carefully doesn't these branches look like they are in a, they are having one particular node and from this node Yeah, they are having the branches here separately. What we are having like this, right? So if you observe this circuit very carefully, this reminds us of the concept of node analysis, which I have discussed in first module. Okay, this circuit looks very similar to the circuit of node analysis part. So what we can do is we can solve this kind of circuit. We should be first analyzing the circuit and thinking that which method can be applied for this circuit. For this circuit, we have nodes. along with the different branches here so we can apply node analysis and solve this circuit because this uh, it will be taking very less amount of time okay very easy problem nothing much to do okay and our goal here is to find all the parameters that is y11 y12 y21 y22 okay now let us solve this using node analysis apply kcl now at node 1 so this is node 1 and this is node 2 i have named it here separately node 1 and node 2 KCL KCL rule do you know right that is we have three currents at this node okay all three are one is coming inwards and these two currents are going outward outward currents are always negative keep it in mind outward currents are always negative from node when a current flows outwards they are negative and whenever we have one inward current which is coming to the node that is always positive okay so what we would be getting our equation is Plus i one minus i four minus i three is equal to zero. Now substitute the values of i one value is not there, so i one you keep it as this. Substitute the values of i four and i three because we need this i one because we know that in order to find uh, uh, I'll write the general uh, equations for y parameters. I one is equal to y one one v one plus y one two v two. And i two is equal to y two one v one plus y two two v two. So you know this, right? Now, if you substitute, we can we can. This is a branch current, and we can substitute it. But you keep it as it is because we need this i one equation so that we would be getting this i one in terms of this, right? V one and v two. That is our goal. We should be substituting i one in terms of v one and v two and getting this this kind of equation and finding the values of y one one y two y one two. Okay. So i one keep it as it is. Substitute i four and i three both. That is minus. What is i four? I four is this branch current. That is i is equal to v by r. So here i four is this voltage. That is v one voltage divided by the resistance. Here we have in this branch that is two ohm. So i four is equal to v one by two. And i three, that is i three is between uh, i three is this branch and this i three current is between these two. Notes that is v1 and v2. So what we can do is i3 is equal to v1 minus v2. Why minus v2? Because 
from these two nodes these two currents are getting attracted so that's why v1 minus v2 divided by the resistor between in this branch that is 2 that is equal to 0 so now solve this simplify i1 minus v1 by 2 minus v1 by 2 plus v2 by 2 equal to 0 then what i have told you to do i1 is equal to sorry i1 minus i have told you to sir, separately write the coefficients right that is v1 into 1 by 2 minus v1 into 1 by 2 plus v2 into 1 by 2 equal to 0 now group them that is i1 is equal to i1 then we have minus v1 common then group these two terms that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 then plus v2 into 1 by 2 equal to 0 so i1 is equal to what we would be getting 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is equal to 1 right half plus half is 1 so we would be getting i1 minus v1 only then we have plus 1 by 2 v2 is equal to 0 so this is the equation we got now this now in terms of this for in order to write this in terms of this equation you should be bringing i1 to one side that is i1 is equal to these two terms bring it to other side minus v1 would be plus v1 plus 1 by 2 v2 would be minus 1 by 2 v2 so like this we have solved using node analysis and we have uh, we have solved for i1 where we have uh, uh, if you compare the coefficients of uh, v1 and v2 the value is y11 is equal to 1 and y12 is equal to minus 1 by 2 so the first two parameters we have already found y11 and y12 using node analysis at node 1 okay how simple it is now at node 2 again apply the same thing solve at node 2 that is node 2 how many currents we have here if you observe carefully here we have i5 current i6 current and one i2 current and one more current we have here this dependent source current that you cannot be ignoring okay that current you cannot be ignoring so the total number of currents are one is i minus i5 since it is an outgoing current minus i6 again outgoing current i2 is incoming current so plus i2 and minus 3 i1 because this is an outgoing current if you observe carefully from here it is going outwards right so that is equal to 0 now again what is i5 i5 is in this branch so that is v2 minus v1 divided by the resistance 2 then we have i6 what is i6 v2 divided by this resistance 2 so i6 is v2 by 2 then minus 3 i1 you keep it as it is since uh, uh, this is a dependent source and uh, this don't have any voltage values then plus i2 you keep it as it is because we are representing uh, in terms of i2 right this equation so that is equal to 0 now solve it separately that is minus v2 by 2 or we can directly write it as minus v2 into 1 by 2 plus v1 into 1 by 2 minus v2 into 1 by 2 minus 3 i1 plus i2 equal to 0 now what to do group all the terms that is right first uh, the value of i1 has to be written because this is a dependent source and this i1 is in uh, this branch that is uh, this here so what we can do is you can simply uh, write one simple uh, node analysis for this equation i will write it here that is what we would be getting here so apply in a mesh analysis here plus v1 then here we have minus 2 into so no need node analysis what we can do is we can directly write i1 is equal to v1 minus 1 by 2 v2 okay since we know that this i1 current is traveling in this slope in this line uh, in this line in the towards this two nodes here right so what we can do is when this i1 current travels here 
we were uh, this travels to both these nodes v1 and v2 so what we can do is v1 minus v2 divided by the resistance divided by 2 okay so that's why we would be getting this value of i1 so that we should be substituting here so that is minus v2 into 1 by 2 plus v1 into 1 by 2 minus v2 into 1 by 2 so what is i now minus 3 into v1 minus 1 by 2 v2 plus i2 equal to 0 now again group all the v1 and v2 terms that is v2 minus v2 is common here in all all the terms so here if you multiply here what we would be getting minus minus plus 3 by 2 v2 right so i have taken here v2 plus v2 common so what we would be getting minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and plus 3 by 2 okay then we have plus v1 into 1 by 2 and here minus 3 into v1 that is minus 3 is common that is equal to i2 bring it to other side that is minus i2 and what we would be left if you solve this equation we would be getting 1 by 2 v2 minus 5 by 2 v1 is equal to minus i2 that is i2 is equal to uh, just change the polarities that is minus sorry this would be plus 5 by 2 v1 minus 1 by 2 v2 again i2 we have represented in terms of uh, v1 and v2 and the, the, para, the values are y21 is equal to 5 by 2 and y22 is equal to minus 1 by 2 so you have found all the values y11, y12, y21, y22 represent them in a matrix here I am going to write it here y is equal to y11 is 1 y12 is minus 1 by 2 y21 is 5 by 2 y22 is minus 1 by 2 so this is our final answer hope this is clear like this you should be solving if someone has not understand please watch the video again okay this part is a bit, a bit tricky that is the to find the value of i1 that i've told you this i1 would be traveling in this uh, in this direction and would be entering this branch here and it would be passing these two nodes v1 and v2 so that we would be getting this value of i1 here okay hope this is clear like this you should be solving this problem so now we have one more problem very easy problem uh, which consists of the dependent source also uh, so now let us solve that problem and mind this session okay